Welcome to Kid Zone. Today we're going to learn that God is good. So every time that you hear me say, God is good, I want you to say, no matter what. So when you hear me say, God is good, you say, no matter what. Okay, let's practice. Well, we are going to learn about Joseph today. And Joseph went through a lot of tough times. But during those tough times, Joseph remembered that God is good. No matter what. Awesome. Well, before we get started too much in our lesson, let's start with a prayer. So go ahead. So if you have anything in your hands, set those down. Go ahead and fold your hands. And let's pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for being good no matter what. You watch over us. You take care of us. Even through those tough times, you are with us. We love you so much. And all God's children said, Amen. And the devil said, Bummer, dude. But we all say, Yay, God. Awesome. So the Bible has two main sections. The Old Testament, which is everything that happened before Jesus came. But then we have the New Testament, which is about Jesus, and then what happened right after Jesus came. Well, our memory verse is from the Old Testament. It is from Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. And I have some actions that go with this remember verse. So let's start off. The Lord is good. Yep, put your hands over your heart. A strong refuge. Hands over, like a, make, making a house. Yep. When trouble, put up those fists. Yeah, kind of like you're boxing. When trouble comes. When trouble, and then look out, comes. So let's see if we can do that together. The Lord is good, a strong refuge, when trouble comes. Nahum 1 7. Good job. Before we get into the lesson, I want you to think about something. If you were a servant in a castle, first question. Where would that castle be? If you could pick any place, no matter how outrageous, where would it be? Think about that. Question number two. Now remember, I said you were a servant, not a king or queen. So if you were a servant in this castle, what job would you have as a servant? That's question number two. Those are some really good answers. Well, that's going to relate to our story today. Now, last week we learned about this guy named Joseph. And Joseph went through some troubled times. The first problem he had was that his brothers did not like him. In fact, they were very mean to him. And they sold Joseph. So Joseph was sold into slavery, and they moved him to Egypt. That's right, long, far away from where his brothers and his family are. Things were not going well for Joseph. But we know that God is good no matter what. Joseph knew that too. When Joseph got to Egypt, Joseph was the servant of Potiphar. Potiphar wasn't the king, or they called him the pharaoh in Egypt. He wasn't the pharaoh, but he, he knew the pharaoh. He was high up. He was very wealthy. And Joseph got to work for Potiphar as a servant. Let's read about what happened to Joseph in the Bible. Now this is in Genesis chapter 39, starting with verse 2. The Lord was with Joseph, so that he prospered, and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did. So even though Joseph was a servant in a strange place, God watched over him and helped him be successful. I don't know exactly what Joseph's jobs were as he worked for Potiphar, but I got some ideas. I think the first one, and let's see if you can do this too. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm off a little bit, but you see if you can do this. Can you rub your tummy and pat your head? Do you think that that's what Joseph had to do? Could you do that? Yeah, well, you try. 
Maybe it wasn't rubbing his tummy and patting his head. Maybe it was winking with his left eye. Can you do that? Wink with your left eye? Or maybe it was with his right eye. Can you do that? Hmm. Or maybe it was even more complicated. Or maybe it was even more complicated. Maybe he had to say, she sells, she sells by the seashore. Wait, I, let's try that again. She sells seashells by the seashore. That's a hard one to say. Can you say it five times fast? She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells, I, whew, five times. Do you think that's what Joseph's job was? Nah, it's probably a little bit different than that. But no matter what his job was, he was always successful. Because God is good, no matter what, God was watching over Joseph and helping him. So Potiphar noticed how successful Joseph was with everything. And so Potiphar gave him better and better jobs every single time. Let's read what happened next. Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household, and he trusted him care of everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and of all the things he owned, the Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potter had, both in the house and in the field. So Potiphar left everything he had in Joseph's care. With Joseph in charge, he did not concern himself with anything except for the food he ate. Wow. Wow. So Potiphar trusted him with absolutely everything, even his most precious even with his most precious possessions. But once again in Joseph's life, something went wrong. So Potiphar had a wife. Well, for some reason, Potiphar's wife decided to tell a lie about Joseph. And it was not a good lie. Has anybody ever accused you of something that you didn't do? Maybe if you have a brother or sister, sometimes you get blamed for something that they did. Or maybe something happens and your parents blame you for it, even though you didn't do it. How did that make you feel when you got blamed for something you didn't do? Think about that. So hopefully, whatever happened to you wasn't so bad that you got thrown in jail. But this, for Joseph, was so bad that he was thrown in jail. Let's read what happens next. When his master heard the story his wife told, saying, This is how your slave treated me. He burned with anger. Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. Wow. Joseph went to jail because Potiphar's wife lied about Joseph. Hmm. Poor Joseph. He had worked so hard working for Potiphar, getting his trust, doing what God wanted him to do, and now he was thrown in prison for something he didn't even do. But wait, we're not done yet. Remember, God is good no matter what. So let's read what happens next. But while Joseph was there in prison, the Lord was with him and showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. The prison warden was like the boss. So the warden, so the warden put Joseph in charge of all those held in prison, and he was made responsible for all that was done there. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care, because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. So even in prison, Joseph was successful. God never left Joseph. Even through these difficult situations, God was good no matter what. Well, so even through these hard times, Joseph trusted God 
And sometimes it's hard for us. What I want to do is I want to list out a couple of situations. I don't want you to think, is God really good? In fact, if you believe that God is good, I want you to say God is always good. So, if I wake up in the morning, get out of bed, and walk out of my room, and I stub my toe, oh, is God good? God is always good. What if I go to school and I have an awesome science fair project and I win at the science fair project? I get a prize. Is God good? God is always good. But then I failed my math test. God is always good. Then I had an argument with my best friend. God is always good. But then me and my friend, we made up. God is always good. Then my mom made my favorite dessert. God is always good. But then I got grounded. God is always good. And then tomorrow, I get a new day. God is always good. That's right. Even through the tough times in our life, God is always good good. So it's easy to see God when good things happen. But sometimes when those bad things happen, especially if we have a bunch of bad things that happen in a row, sometimes we start doubting God. I don't know if you've ever had that. I definitely had. Sometimes it's gotten so bad where I feel like I'm yelling at God when I'm praying to him. I'm asking, why is this happening? But is God always good? No matter what, God does have a plan for us, and he does care about us. Now, you can read the story of Joseph and think that Joseph was very unlucky. But during all of this, God had a plan for Joseph. Joseph had no idea what was going on. He didn't know what was going to happen in the future. But he did trust God, and he was faithful to God. He knew that God is good no matter what. This reminds us that we can always turn to God and trust him when bad things happen to us. And remember our Bible memory buddy, Mac, and what he said. In Nahum 1.7, the Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. That's right. The last thing I want to do is for you to close your eyes and I want you to listen as I read this. And I want you to think about the good things that God has done in your life. Think of one or two or three wonderful things and can you give me a thumbs up? Remember, keep your eyes closed, but you can go ahead and lift your thumbs up to remind us that God does great, wonderful things to us. So go ahead and listen. Now Joseph had some bad days. He was hurting by his brothers. He was forced to move away from home. He was lied about and thrown in prison. Things were really hard. But Joseph didn't blame God. Instead, Joseph faithfully trusted God. It took years and years before Joseph could see how God used those bad days for good. Because that's what God does. God turns bad into good. Just like he did for Joseph, he does for you. Whatever's hard in your life right now, maybe at home, maybe with a friend, maybe at school, God can turn something good out of that bad. Maybe by changing the situation or changing you and helping you to rely on him more. When things aren't going well, Ask God what you can learn from what's happening. Tell him that you trust him, that he'll bring good out of all this bad. And lean on Jesus. He's a friend who's with you during hard times. Well, you guys have an awesome week, and we'll see you back next week.